Look at the outside, guys. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like that all over town. Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Reborns Cradle, and today I have Chantal Maria. She is the Julia Sculpt by Carla Regorich, I think that's how you say, and she is a small newborn size, but as you can see, she is in her summer outfit, so I'd love to put her into a winter one. And also, there is a tag going around by Ties and Nana's Place, and it's, uh, it's called, I have my notes here, <laughs> it's called, What are five things you want to change in 2020? Um, I've seen a few tag answers, and uh, the original tag by uh, Nana is one that is, um, like five things you need to stop doing in order to change for a more positive I am attitude. here to answer the tag and to change Chantel. Chantel Maria is named after Christmas. I received her a few years ago around Christmas time. And oh, got to see her hair. So gorgeous. Um. She is named after Chantal, is after Chante to sing in French. And Maria is because, um, not only because of Christmas, but because I love the song Ave Maria. It's so beautiful. And her hair is messy. I do have the brush. Ah, she's long. But her hair is so gorgeous. So I need to comb it today. Yeah. On camera, it looks very messy. Oh, she is so sweet. She reminds me a lot of the Denver Rose, which I also own. But, okay. Oh, so there she is. Um, yes, I need to take her out of this beautiful mm -hmm. summer romper, though. I also have, um... A diaper I need to change her and because she's been in this oh, ever since the summer so my collection is very large by the way if you're a new subscriber um, I still have most of my dolls that I've ever bought so let's see if I can pick oh So five things that I would love to change for the new year. So five, five things that I need to stop and change for the new year so that my new year will be a more positive one for myself. For my inner child, which is what my channel is based around. So anyways, I will fix put this outfit out of the way. This is a, uh, pretty sure it's Carter's, oh, just made for you, newborn size. It's a little big on her, but she is a very small newborn, but I love, I love this outfit. <clears throat> and the bonnet, I remember I bought this from Wish a while ago, and um, looks like it got a little... Age, it looks old, <laughs> it's not really that old. I still love this bonnet. Okay, let's change Chantel. I'll do her hair after. Oh, she's wearing a wonder wafer. 
I did bring my powder. So I wasn't sure if she was wearing a Wendy wafer or not. But this is what I have. So um I do have two different diapers that I can choose from. I have a newborn size plain white one like this or I found this is a vintage Huggies diaper from the year 2003 because um, <laughs> I bought these for my middle son but um, I wish there was a date on here but they're very small and my boys grew very very fast. They don't have any printing in the tabs back in the day, so I can't tell what year they were. But I know that they're 2003, this is what the inside looked like. And this is from over the years of a little moisture buildup. I would not use these on a real baby, they wouldn't work. But, here's the front. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. That's by Huggies. So I think I would love to put this on her. And look at me, I can't, <laughs> I can't change her and do the tag at the same time. <laughs> I'll put this on her. I'm go from there. Oh, <laughs> she's so sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have um, actually I have a few hats to choose from with her outfit. Um, I have all these winter hats. For girls, I have a lot more than this. I should show you my bin Monday. But I'm not quite sure which one to go with her outfit. I'll show you her outfit. <clears throat> I have this overall pants. They're plaid, uh, light pink, brown, and white, like a beige. So with flowers on it. And I did get her a long sleeve onesie because I know that, well, it's winter here now, full on winter, as you can see. And I have a vest for her with a hoodie. And the hoodie has little ears on it, so cute. And socks. I thought those would match pretty good. With this onesie, I'm just going to put everything on over top. And this tag, oh my goodness. Okay, five things I need to change, stop doing. I need, well, the obvious number one is I do have to stop procrastinating and start. I do want to develop more on my channel. Um, I'm excited that I have one item in my merch store so far. I do have an idea for another um item that I have kind of like um, a certain saying of mine that a lot of you would recognize if you watch my videos uh, something I almost always say in my videos I have an idea to put that onto some merch they always say that merch is personalized like something of you and I definitely have an idea for that. I can't wait to um, begin promoting it and designing it and stuff like that. It's exciting. Um, the sleeve is a bit big on her, but that's okay. Oh, Chantal, I'm so sweet. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, let's see. I'll look at my card. Um... What do I need to stop doing so that I can live a more positive and happier life? Um, oh, 
I used to make a lot of Instagram posts back in the day when I first started this hobby. Um, most of my posts were uh, kind of role play, like still shot um, pictures. And I miss doing that. I was so happy doing those things. Like um, posing, posing the dolls, posing my uh, toddler girls. And it was fun. I really enjoyed doing it. So I would love to continue or work on doing more role play uh, pictures for Instagram. Um, it just, I had a lot of joy in that. I would look back at all my old pictures and, and smile, reminisce, and I really, I really want to do more of that, uh, making those pictures, posable pictures, and have the time for that. So, yeah, because it just made me feel happy. Well, this has to be difficult. Oh, difficult, difficult. Let's see, I've got to pick her up. Kind of. Oh, I can't believe it's kind of tight on her. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> oh, she looks so sweet. Oh, it's on that. Okay, I wonder. I don't think I need to cross those because they're up so high. I can't believe it's kind of, wow. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Just want to adjust the pants a bit. Okay, now for her hair, although if I want to put a hat on her, I guess she doesn't need her hair done, but sure is. Can you see that? She is, I love her hair. It's super finely micro-rooted. And I'm not sure who the um, Reborn artist is because I bought her second hand from a trusted friend. So... Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at that swirl. Oh, she's so... Oops, <laughs> what did I do on this side? Oh my goodness. Oh, she's so sweet. Um, another thing that I would love to, oh, she's so sweet like that. Um, I would need to, oh, okay, downstairs in my storage room is my slash storage nursery room. It's unorganized. I need to find time to go in there and reorganize my room and uh, turn it into a nursery that I've always dreamed of. Um, by the way, this is a Playtex bottle with lotion and water. I have modified uh, top part and I used uh, vanilla lotion. So it gives that tint of formula look. So um, yeah, I need to just go into that room and the reason why is when I go in there I feel very overwhelmed and when I feel overwhelmed I just don't want to face it and um, I know I am a hoarder I admit that and I'm an organized hoarder I guess I you'd say it's not messy messy but I would love to turn it into a proper room so um so that when I walk in there, I won't feel overwhelmed. And that might mean I have to declutter. Um, that's another thing that I have to stop doing for sure is attaching myself to these dolls so much. My collection is seriously very, very huge. Um, 
and I need to let go of the dolls that um, I don't have a huge giant bond with so that's going to be hard though I think but I need to do it I need to declutter I need to downsize and um, yeah uh, so here is sweet Chantel she is looking so sweet in this Ah, oh, she is so sweet in this. <laughs> so yeah, number one is to do more Instagram posts uh, to make myself happier. I love posing them. I love taking pictures of them and sharing with you all. Um, number two, I need to work on reorganizing my room so that when I walk in, I don't feel so overwhelmed. And number three, that might mean uh, downsizing my collection. And I need to stop putting such a hold on these dolls. Um, I mean, I love them all. I love them all. But uh, it's just my large collection is just not working really anymore. So I might need to downsize. And uh, yeah. Stop trying to hang on to the dolls that I can't really fully accept and I need to sell them so or try to sell them. I need to unattach my personal feelings. Um, I'm so afraid that if I let them go I'm going to miss them so much which happened a couple of times. So that's the thing though, like I'm so afraid to sell them, get rid of them, and then want them back so bad. But I need to stop doing that. I need to make the decision to sell and let them go. So um, another thing, um, oh, and I mentioned this already, stop procrastinating for decluttering things. Um, not only like this bin of hats, this is... Oh, these are just those kind of hats, like these kind of hats. I have another bin of like knitted hats for winter, and I have another bin of um, bonnets and stuff. <laughs> I need to stop collecting, stop seeing that bargain and like, oh, I need that. No, I don't need it. <laughs> I need to stop resisting the sales. That's I really do need to do that. Um, and one last thing that I need to stop doing that's kind of hard and difficult, but for the past <laughs> long time, the, we all know the drama and stuff surrounded on YouTube with the Reborn community. And I need to stop worrying about what my friends might think about my decision of somebody else. Um, I need to stop worrying about hurting other people's feelings. Um, for instance, there's a situation in the past that went on and I agree with the people that my friends did not agree with. And so I kept my mouth shut. And because I didn't want to, <sighs> so yeah, I have to stop worrying about what other people think. And true friends really, you know, true friends would understand that not everyone has the same opinions about things. Um, we all have our opinions. We all have our preferences. We all have our um interests <laughs> and our true friends will accept that for who we are and they're not if they don't accept me for my difference of opinion or difference of um preference then they're not really a true friend and i have to open my eyes and realize that and just you know what be friends who I want to be friends with there's so many people around even in real life um this is not only on YouTube it's everywhere but you know what if I like you I like you if I don't like you I don't like you 
So I need to start concentrating on my inner happiness and not worry about somebody else's inner happiness because you know what it's all about yourself it's all about self-love and self-worth and if I don't if I'm not that I'm lying but if I'm doing that then there's no real point you have to do what your gut tells you and she's just so cute and yes I have a large collection and that's my my preference although there are a lot of dolls in my collection that I should let go um not this one <laughs> besides I already promised the previous owner that if I ever felt like selling her that I would let her know first because she is a precious precious angel and I love her so yeah I, those are my answers so thank you Ties and Nana's Place for the fun tag. Anyways, what time is it? Ooh, I have to get ready to see Francis right away for lunch. So yes, here's Chantel Maria. She is looking so, so sweet. And thank you guys so much for being here. And I hope that you're having a really great day. And oh, I can't believe, isn't it New Year's Eve tomorrow? Or is it? Yeah. Wow. 2020 is year just around the corner i can't believe it so news guys thank you so much for being here i love you guys so much thank you to all the new subscribers i have to get going guys thank you so much for being here i hope that you're having a beautiful beautiful day i thought for sure the sun would be shining by now but it's not um however it's still gorgeous outside where i live i uh, hope that you're all having a great day happy new year's for tomorrow yes tell me comment down below what your plans are my plans are just staying at home nothing very special except for being with my one and only beloved fiance so we're going to enjoy ourselves enjoy the evening and uh, watch a movie or two in front of the fireplace fake fireplace <laughs> who knows right so anyways guys thank you so much for being here have a lovely lovely day and love you guys match your hand match it guys give me a high five love you Bye.